Now I want to show you how we can make a copy and paste script. Often I need to grab objects or material that I've created in another scene or from another project and take it from one Max file to another. So for example, I want to grab this bed and I want to put it into a new scene. So if you've ever used actions in Photoshop for repetitive tasks, then this works in a similar way. What we're going to do is record a sequence of events and then add it to a keyboard shortcut. So efficiency is really all about how many clicks you do per day. So the less clicks you take to do something, the more efficient you are. So if it takes you one minute to complete a simple task five times a day, that's five minutes per day. And over a five day work week, that's 25 minutes a week doing a simple task. And if you can reduce that down from one minute to 10 seconds, then it's only 50 seconds per day and it's only four minutes per week. So you're improving the speed of your workflow by 84%. So this does sound a little too good to be true. And obviously there are some upfront costs of writing the script, but once it's done, it's going to save you time in the long run. So let's run through an example. So I'm going to select my bed. I'm going to go to file, save selected. I'm going to save it as bed. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to go into my other Mac scene. I'm going to go file, import, merge. I'm going to browse to our folder, select bed, hit open, select the bed, hit OK. And there's our bed. And now I will use the script. So I'm going to select our bed. I'm going to hit Control Shift C. I'm going to go to our other scene. I'm going to hit Control Shift V. And there's our bed. So let's take a quick look at how these two scenarios work. So we select our object. We go to File, Save Selected. We navigate to the folder. We name the object. We save it. We go to the new Mac scene. We go File, Import, Merge. We navigate to the file. We click the file. We click Import. And we select Group. And then we Import. And what we really want to do when we're writing our own script is select our object. We want to hit Control Shift C and then we want to paste it with Control Shift V. So this is basically select object, save selected. And in the new scene, we want to merge our copy paste file. So let's have a look at how we can write a script to do this. So the first thing I want to show you is the Mac script listeners. So we'll go to scripting and Mac script listener. And in here, we want to enable the macro recorder. And what that's going to do is basically record everything that we do with scripts. So this is really what's happening behind the scenes uh, in 3ds Max. So we can delete all of this and if we create a teapot and we copy this. And we paste it here. Let's just delete the current teapot. And then when I hit enter on this, it will create that teapot. So this is the code to create that exact teapot. Let's say we want to create that teapot, but we want to make it bigger. Let's put it down here. And in the radius, let's change this to 50. And we'll hit OK. And it's created a teapot at, with a radius of 50. So if we want to repeat this task, we can just copy this script paste it here and hit enter and the same thing will happen again. So this is quite powerful. Let's say we want to change the color of this teapot. We can select it and we can go over to here and let's change it to red. And if we copy this, it basically means whatever's selected, the wire color will be red. So if I select this object, paste that, hit enter, it's going to change our teapot to red. So this is kind of the behind the scenes and we can copy and paste stuff together to make some pretty quick scripts. Now Max script can be a lot more in depth than this, but this is how I quickly make scripts to streamline my workflow. So let's delete all of this. I'm going to get rid of all of this and let's just create a box for now. And 
just to keep things clear, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go to File, Save Selected. And I'm going to go to New Folder. I'm going to call this Copy Paste and hit Enter. And I'm going to save this as Copy Paste. So we can see that to save our selection as copy and paste, this is our code. So if I copy this down here and paste it, and before I hit enter on that, I'm going to open up our desktop copy and paste folder and we can see the file we just saved here. I'm going to delete that to make sure this is actually working. I'm going to hit enter and it says OK. So let's go back to our folder and there's our copy and paste folder. So we've saved a few clicks there, so that's pretty good. And now what we want to do is merge this folder in. So let's just write merge max file and let's just copy this path here. I'm going to delete this object and let's see what happens when we run this. There we go. The file we saved has now been merged in. So basically these are our two scripts. So let's take a look at how we can make keyboard shortcuts for these. So I'm going to go to script him. I'm going to go to new script and I'm going to copy over our copy script. Now there's a couple of things we're going to want to do because we're going to want to save these as macro scripts. So we're going to put a line above our current script and we're going to type macro script and I'm going to call it copy. And you can see that copy is currently in blue because Max actually thinks that that is a command. So I'm just going to put an underscore there to make sure it's black. So that's the title of our script. And then I'm going to write cat, sorry, cat igori and in quotation marks, I'm just going to call this luxury visuals. You can call this whatever you like, your name, for example. And there's one other thing we need to do, and we just need to put our script into brackets. And then we can go to file, save as, and I'm going to save this as copy and then I'm going to start another new script and I'm going to copy over that first line and I'm going to call this one paste and we'll keep it in the same category you'll see why in a moment and I'm going to copy over our merge script and make sure that that's in brackets as well and let's go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this one Paste. Now in each of these, I'm going to go to Tools, Evaluate All, and Evaluate All. So we can close these down now. And now we can go to Customize, Customize User Interface, and under Keyboard, we're going to click this category drops down and that's why we added a category and we're going to scroll to luxury visuals and you'll see copy and paste here. So I'm going to select copy and I'm going to assign control shift C to this as the shortcut and hit assign and on paste I'm going to hit control shift B and I'm going to assign that. So now if I select this object and I hit control shift C, you'll see that it quickly saved. And if we go into a new Mac scene and hit Control Shift B, there's our object. So let's take a quick look at how this works. In a bigger scene, let's select this side table, Control Shift C. And we'll go into another scene, Control Shift V. And there's our object. And like before, because we've made changes to the user interface, let's just go to Save Custom UI Scheme and save it over our version. So as you can see, scripting 
and creating actions is a really powerful way to speed up your workflow.